let's yeah. get started now on Facebook. So I'm going to tag you as well, Irina, so that it also yeah. appears on your um on your timeline my timeline yes good. yes on your timeline so jenny lyon here the essential live show i think we're already live because this is what always happens with facebook it's like you you find out later that, you, that we've gone live um and uh, we are already live so the essential live show with arena so very welcome everybody i'm going to um just like do the little bit of tech while um while you're all getting gathered onto this show and uh, in the meantime i'm so i'm so pleased to have arena here because actually i know her through a, a program that i'm doing and i got to know her uh, not so long ago and i'm very 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 fascinated by the feng shui side of life um and i also had my house i had a feng shui master here two years ago and we saw some real improvements from using um, Feng Shui. So I was so excited when Irina said that, um, you know, she wanted to, to do this with me. So let me just, um, uh, I'm just bringing it out here, <laughs> bring windows uh, to your life and business with Feng Shui. Okay. So welcome everybody, Jenny Lyon here. I hope you're having a fantastic, um, fantastic day wherever you are. I know that in America you probably just start waking up. Um, we are coming to the end of the day here in Europe. So very happy to see you all over the world. Now, I started this show last, no, actually not last year now. To, it's, I can say it's two years ago now because wow. it was 2020. And I did it from a calling of, from the soul, really. Uh, I was just guided to put it together um, just to stream like higher consciousness into people's living rooms, uh, bringing some really interesting, exciting guests onto the show um, that could spread their knowledge and what they're passionate about and actually teaching people what is available so that they can improve their own energy, improve their own um, lives and businesses improve their uh, improve everything really because if we know if we learn more about the tools that are available um, we can actually create the love that we we see in our the life that we see in our hearts because many people go through struggles right and there's so many things can be fixed um, and that I'm so passionate about that you know have an optimal life right <laughs> so very welcome to the show uh, Irina I'm going to ask you to just introduce yourself and tell us who you are where you're from and how you go into feng shui yes oh well first of all i want to thank you from all my heart <laughs> jenny for inviting me for giving me this opportunity to connect with the world to connect with those who will be watching us because of your wonderful show <laughs> and i'm also i've been um i've got kind of um, magnetized by your energy. I, I joined your Facebook group, by the way, it's an amazing Facebook group, amazing energy and what you are doing there, even like inspiring, motivating people there, like it's jump there. I'm advising you and sometimes when I have time and I see your life videos, I'm just magnetized. I cannot get off from your videos. This is amazing. And I'm really, really happy to be here. And, um, well, I can tell you, um, yes, right now and the last, I think, uh, 15 years, I've been positioning myself as a Feng Shui consultant. I couldn't call myself like a Grand Master of Feng Shui. I, I can tell you that I've been testing a lot of different schools in Feng Shui. And uh, I could tell you that I could guide you through many different schools and I became not an expert, but I can tell you that I became very, very familiar with so many tools and practicality in Feng Shui. So I could even point you what is going wrong inside your home, even without being inside your home. And this is what makes me so excited about that, that your home is extension of your own energy, it's extension of your own life. And um, 
just by changing something in one sector it could affect your relationships or it could affect your income it could affect your networking abilities or just could bring you more popularity in your life and right now we're experiencing the moment from the 7th of january when you could experience the taste or sample of the energy that new energy is coming in 2020 and since i'm welcoming you here to to this show i want to share you these three energies that will be uh, like very strong this year the energy of fire the energy of earth and you you see these two beautiful balls it's really nice they're bringing more harmony and um, harmonizing our chakras area and also the main thing is a metal metal is very 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 strong this year as you know this is a metal rat ear and um, the fire energy the fire energy <laughs> fire so energy so just tell me more because obviously there's four uh so yeah. you've got metal water fire and earth right yes this year it will be fire earth and metal the three energies that are the most strongest energies and i want to tell you a little bit about the ink fire energy because as you know maybe you are familiar already with the ink and yang Yes, and yeah, it's all about the balance between yin and yang and about um, five elements mm -hmm. and about nine numbers from one to nine. Okay. It's all based on logic for those who are not familiar. But what does it mean, yin? Yin, it could be night and yang, it's a day. Mm -hmm. Yin is um, darkness, yin is a warmth. Ink is a feminine energy mm -hmm. and the yang energy it's a sun and the yang energy is a big big a sun that if we will stay under the sun maybe 15 years or 15 minutes without the sunscreen nothing happened to us but ink fire it's like a candle flame if we hold the hand of a candle flame you just have to take it off very quickly so this kind of energy is this year and you know oh, wow. what kind of energy is this year? Tell me more about what, what does that mean in real life? Yeah. This is spirituality, ah. metaphysics. Yeah. And I can tell you like in four years, like in Feng Shui, we are living in life in general, like, and life is divided by 20 years, big cycles. Mm -hmm. And this cycle period of eight uh, will be ending on the 1st of February 23 and the ink fire energy started and the ink fire energy is connected to feminine energy mm -hmm. uh, it's connected to spirituality to metaphysics to our consciousness to our inspiration creativity so you and I'm so excited about it I mean I'm so excited about it because from the perspective where I speak is about the divine feminine which is like the higher consciousness of the Christ consciousness more of a soft gentle more like open flow abundance um, uh, receiving not, not chasing it's already yin in that way um, yes. and that's really strong this, in this year from my teachings so obviously it's showing up in all teachings. It's not gonna like it doesn't really matter what teaching right it's gonna show up so um, from that perspective, I'm very excited because I see people just like popping up like mushrooms, awakening, yeah. um, which is so, so cool because all the people like you, 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 yourself and myself and other people doing this work, uh, we're very needed because some people I speak to, they're like, oh, 10 years ago, I would have not even considered this or even like one year ago, maybe. And now they're like, wow, I'm on a quest to understand all of this. So, um, you know, the experts are needed in this field, absolutely. Uh, I love that, Irina. So um, just tell me a little bit more. So for, that's like a collective level uh, in a way, because this is what's actually happening. Are you talking like the whole planet? You're talking just generally? In collective level and uh, those people are, well, I can tell you the first of all, we have to understand who we are and those who are born naturally with this question. Some of the people are born naturally 
and probably you are watching us in the replay or now uh, if I start asking myself question who I am I came to my mom or maybe I was like two three years old and ask her mom who I was before I was born and she looked at me and she said who told you this I said nobody yeah and uh, i don't know i remember i was a very little child and coming home and telling my mom a story and she said who told you this i said i've been talking to that stone on the street <laughs> what kind of things who is telling you this i said no nobody i was so sure i start asking those questions had the questions and why Mm. And uh, that's why it's like, if you are here on this call, then you probably were asking this question, why? But believe me, we are so different. It's so many people still are not asking this question. They don't care. Yeah. They didn't walk <laughs> up yet. But yeah. uh, like in general, yes, from one side, we have to care. But number one thing is those who are asking questions, mm -hmm. who are interested in this, it is me. A signing of awakening is happening and we will be able to help them a lot this year and this what the energy will be um, what will be happening with this energy because this energy will be more kind of penetrating people are getting more relaxed in general and when they are more relaxed this energy is easily penetrating into them mm -hmm. and can trigger that kind of spirituality in them and they will be thinking what if I could ask something yeah. and they will start feeling more because yeah. this energy is connecting to their heart they starting they start feeling something what they never feel before they will become more aware about uh, something they, they start hearing something different because yeah. the energy will be stronger and stronger and it's a very uh, individually to everyone, but there'll be more and more people asking those questions. There'll be more kind of sit, you know, like appreciating mm -hmm. uh, healers. The healers will get more appreciated. Uh, coaches will get more appreciated. Uh, spiritual leaders will get more appreciated. Um, yes, and we will be kind of like in the situation, of course, when we don't know what to do, for example, like the fire, is a strong fire, yes, really, in Australia now. And um, in those situations, what we do, we don't do, we, we cannot do, the personal development cannot help. You cannot, uh, you cannot stop volcano, you cannot stop that, that fire. And what only we can do, we could only pray, pray and help um, the uh, financially. Or they're able like to do that. Yeah. In energy. general, this energy is like that. Yes. And uh, individually, yeah. Uh, for example, so just, uh, sorry, Irina, just a question there. Yeah. Could you say it's a reflection. Okay, so we don't want to blame anything or anyone like this, but could you say that the, the fires of Australia is like a reflection of the turning of the, the, the strong fire coming in? Uh, yes, uh, because, uh, for it's example, it's on the seventh. Yes, uh, uh, the, this is what, how uh, forecasting. It's happening in Feng Shui and astrology forecasting how it's happening because they're all uh, energies on our planet because our planet, the Earth, is moving in the solar system. The Earth is moving around the sun. Mm -hmm. And accordingly that, the energies um, also are shifting. And that some of the countries getting under negative influence of some of the, of the energies. And it's kind of like a last drop. Sometimes the, the glass is full, the last drop is there and the fire is boom, is happening. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course it is happening all because of the energy clashes uh, in certain places. Mm -hmm. And a result of that, as we see this year will be clashing, of course, between the fire and the wood energy is very, very weak yeah. and the wood will be burnt. Yeah. and uh, and the fire is strong yeah. even it's uh, it's not like a young fire not from the sun it's the ink fire that's the fire maybe you cannot see that's why it's very dangerous mm -hmm. and it could explode very quickly this is what we see in australia mm -hmm. and uh, we cannot blame anyone this is kind of energy that's why forecast is based on events how the energy were um, behaving, how the energy will affecting us exactly, for example, 60 years ago, mm -hmm. this kind of energy is repeating again now. 
Why 60 years ago? Because we have five elements. Oh, 20. Earth, mm -hmm. fire, water, wood. Um, what I've got? Metal. Metal. So five elements and uh, we have 12 animals. Okay. And this year, the animal of rat and the animal of rat is starting on the zero point on the north. Can you imagine? So this year is really good for starting a new business. It is really, it's, it's like even you have a business, but you are thinking to start something else, start it. It's really brilliant year to start it. But start it on a good day for your animal sign. Yes. And really, it is, it is, it is matter, everything. And um, after the 4th of February, find the good day that is supporting your animal sign, the energy of your animal sign. I want to tell you that the energy of animal sign is just the description of the vibration. Yes. And imagine you're walking in the forest, mm. you are in a good mood, everything is perfect. Um, you enjoy the birds are singing, beautiful weather, fresh air, and boom, you step on something on um, kind of like snake or something. <laughs> I'm not a snake. I can tell you on a, on a piece of um, woo woo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> poo. Um, it stick. It sticks to you, you know. Not very nice. And, uh, and then, like you're walking, you're still enjoying, but kind of smell is there. It's sticky. <laughs> and smell is there, and you're still walking there, trying to enjoy, but the smell. That's mm. what I'm trying to tell you. When you are in the right flow and you're starting your business in the right day, yeah. you don't have that smell, you know? Ah, okay, yeah. So it's more like alignment, more flow. Yes, and this like is what Feng Shui is teaching you, it's giving you a map. But it's not everything, of course, because the Feng Shui is like a metaphysical science about what is given you from heaven, mm -hmm. what you're receiving on earth. Mm -hmm. From heaven, uh, we can say it's DNA. So, and you can calculate what kind of energy is imprinted in you, and they're kind of like repeating the energies from your parents. It's a cocktail of your energies. Yeah. And then it comes to earth luck and then you suddenly you are born with your energy and you look around and you see maybe your parents are wealthy or maybe your parents are alcoholics, you don't know. So they have the earth luck, your luck is in, maybe you are born in a family where you have already mentors with you. Maybe you're born in a family when your mom is a coach. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe your father is already a famous a rock star. So then the, you are born already with the luck, with different luck than from someone is born in a family, in destructive family. Yes. yes. So it's mean their destiny in life to overcome that. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean when you are born in that family that you have to become like your parents. No. Yeah, you no. Change your yeah. Life. <laughs> yeah, this is what about we are doing coaching and everything because yeah. you can change country, you can change you can move away from a destructive family, for example. You can remove mm -hmm. the, the, the trauma, the imprint. You yeah, can work on yeah. it and yeah. then be aware, like, uh, be aware to, to become a new, more natural. And, uh, and then you are your pure spirit. You put yourself in a good feng shui, good flow. This yeah. is the best thing, what can you do? And uh, you kind of receiving a map with feng shui. And, when you're in a good flow, it means you are getting connected with the right people mm -hmm. who are influencing you uh, by their inspirations, but by their wisdom, and you're able to absorb everything. Mm -hmm. So this is our man luck. So Feng Shui is just a very, very small, tiny part of, of that. Which well, it's an element okay. of tool to use yeah, in to life, you know? Yeah. It's like a and, tool, it's finesse. We bring finesse to life. Yes, mm -hmm. and, uh, and this is what you are doing. You are helping people on a man level, on a man luck, to man up <laughs> yes. our life and to get up. <laughs> so it's kind of like we are able to approximately about like 66% to control our life. Yes. Uh, when we are combining, for example, uh, Feng Shui or our energy 
with the personal development or any kind of healings or anything what is able to help us to put ourselves in the flow. Yes. I mean, to be honest, I mean, when you're speaking, it's like, what was really interesting, I had the Feng Shui Master, this was before I knew you, but I had the Feng Shui Master to come here yeah. and we had a lot of, um, actually didn't have a lot of work done because both me and my husband, we are intuitive. So we had already chosen a lot of things that was already in alignment with the whole family. So we were like, wow, this is amazing. But he added quite a few elements and changed a bit with the colors and things like that and sorted out the Bagua areas, like the different areas of life, which was really helpful. So for example, I'll give you this example, people will like this. So in our relationship corner, which is in the kitchen over there, we had, so it's like the kitchen, so we had nice like, you know, uh, things there, maybe some, we had some photos and things, but it wasn't actually really about me and my husband. There was a bowl there with like old, um, they were not bills because the bills were paid, but they were like old paperwork about some yeah. old stuff. And he was like, wow, we, what's in this bowl? Yeah. <laughs> and then when we changed that, we moved that, sorted that out. It wasn't, um, you know, I don't know, it just ended up there, right? And we changed it to the fruit bowl and we have a jar of money in this area. And we changed the photos to just Craig and myself. And we put a figure of us like so since then things were just like so light not that we had a problem in our relationship but we just feel more connected mm -hmm. but more like uh elevated more loving more that was the biggest fix he did and he extended also the side of the house the future because there was a um not any not a room there <laughs> so he extended out the house for the future and since then, so much came in about like the future, what we want to create. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and also put the uh, water and the fire there for the flow mm -hmm. of abundance. So that was like major, but that together with all the other things, it's like tremendous how life changes, like mm -hmm. amazing. You can optimize your life change so much. So yeah, so I'm very excited about that. Yes, absolutely. It's um, yeah, a bowl uh, as you were a talking. A bowl of the old, like some old I legal want, paper. Um, like, I want to say uh, really like um, uh, you should, everyone should have a bowl, a big bowl. If you start observing uh, rich hotels, five-star hotels, yeah. they always have this, the, the bowl of ways where um, if you are in the museum observing, uh, King King's palaces and yeah. how they have a fountains, how they have a big yeah. hall captivating the energy. They have a candlelight or a hanging, yeah. and it's like um, yes, it's a beast. Uh, it's kind of like you're creating triggers around yourself, triggers, wealth triggers, yeah. because every this is what we are telling ourselves when we see things around. We are telling to ourselves, you so just start observing what you're telling yourself and you're entering your home. Exactly. And your triggers or wealth should be so strong because when you're coming inside your home, you have to feel immediately this is home, you are safe and you are so rich. Yes. Uh, yes. Not only in terms of money, in terms of everything. You are prosperous, you are rich in comfort and like relaxed yeah. and happy. Yeah, exactly. And it's like those triggers which we should have immediately when we enter in home. Yeah. And, um, and this, uh, this bowl is really, really good thing. Because now, um, uh, like I put in my bowl, like a, a, even like fake it, then you make it. It's like a fake. Uh, I received, I think, from someone of the marketers in, my, um, in the email. I received this note, one million dollar on one bill. <laughs> Yeah, I put it inside that bowl. This is really nice. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, it's uh, fun. The bowl, when you have a bowl, it is meaning you're open to receive abundance. This is really good. Yes. And, um, oh, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yes, yeah, so I learned a lot from that. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm interested in everything that can optimize, you know, the yeah. lives of someone. Because you're on the edge. You want to get everything, whatever. I mean, that you're able to help others, that yeah. it will support you that it will connect you better with others. And actually like uh, now it's amazing dates and I'm, uh, I'm just sharing this my 
clients uh, is my students inside my group for example um, like every week coming some magical uh, dates when the energy is clashing but you can use that the energy the quantum jump of that energy to support for example your popularity or to support your prosperity or to support your health uh, or it's still one date is kind of when you can make a wish for yourself or for somebody and also the most important date when you can invite a god of wealth if you have a door or a window in the west sector then i remember uh, just uh, with my uh, with my students how we were doing this uh, you have to have a kind of to hold the glass of champagne maybe in your hand if you if yeah. you or a glass of i don't know juice of what you like yeah <laughs> and the candlelight and i remember uh, one of my students she was sharing a story she was standing and waiting for the god of wealth is coming and it was three o'clock at night because exactly in the certain time the god of wealth is coming that energy is shifting and you have to invite that energy and she was standing there uh, dressed dressed very nicely and she was in this meditative state imagining the god of wealth is coming and she suddenly uh felt someone is clapping on the shoulder what are you doing <laughs> husband awake yeah <laughs> and he look at her she's dressed holding a candlelight <laughs> and holding glass of champagne and she couldn't understand what she was doing and she so she's like i'm meeting god the world <laughs> <laughs> well, she was loving it. Because um, <laughs> yeah, but when these things, and I mean, it's like we are doing, the whole family is doing, my husband doing, I'm doing, all my clients doing, friends, and we are practicing. This is fun because, you know, kind of you feel uh, like because you greet God of Wells and invited the God of Wells properly into your life for that year, yeah. things are getting much easier, kind of. I don't know. It is difficult to compare, but I can tell you definitely, definitely, it's getting smooth, it's getting more harmonious, it's getting more fun, easiness, or kind of like, like, like I feel constantly that the, 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 the feeling is like, I love my life. I love yes, my life. I do as well. I'm like, I'm on this constant high. I want, yeah, the <laughs> high, high. It's kind of like. <laughs> Like you are drugged constantly. Yes. Kind of, yes. It's amazing. I love it. I mean, it's contagious. <laughs> it is contagious, exactly. But just for the listeners, really, actually, because I want to see if they, we can give some really basic, easy t start points with Feng Shui where somebody. So let's see if there's any questions. If anyone has any questions of an area of their life, whether it's a relationship or business or something else, if you can ask questions, great. Give us some questions because Irina will ask, um, you know, answer them. I'm going to also check on Facebook. Um, so if you have any questions, just say what the relate, you know, the the area of your life is, and then Irina could maybe give some um, sort of just ba not basic, but you know, basic um, suggestions of what to what to start with. No one said anything just yet, but let's say. Okay, so we like business, so we'll cover that. But let's say relationships, um, just yeah. a question. Uh, relationships is just was one of the reasons for myself personally, because I wanted to have a really good relationship. Oh, okay, so talk to us about how Feng Shui, you can start with Feng Shui and relationships. Good, good question. Thank you for asking that and giving me a point. It's kind of... The number one thing is uh, in relationships is kind of, yeah, check your home when you're dividing your home into nine sectors. Mm -hmm. Be sure, be sure that north sector and northwest sector uh, is not occupied by a storage room, especially if you are not married. And I'm assuming, because I'm talking to a, a woman now, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so like, actually, just a quick one, Rina. Here. So, Majik is saying, what is the best way to set up the house with current energies? So, you're talking about the house now, and obviously, that's what you're saying. Yeah. I'll just finish with this first one, yeah, and exactly. after the, the, how the, the currently they set up the yeah. house. Cool. Yes, cool. it's a good question. 
uh, because now it's time to prepare your home for the new coming energy because the, the earth is moving accordingly the, around the, the, the sun, yeah. the energy is switching. Mm -hmm. And um, what is going to, in relationships, just pay attention to that your, the sector is present in your home and especially it's a north and northwest because they are masculine sectors. What the sector, the uh, north, what is it called, the northwest one? North and northwest, because okay. for example, sometimes we have L-shaped house, and someone is um, someone is looking forward to meet a partner. For example, or if they have a storage room there, or if they have a bathroom there, or also oh, yeah. southwest, southwest <laughs> sector as, as well in general for family and love and relationships. Yeah, if yeah. you have a storage room there or a bathroom, then it's kind of like quite difficult will be in this house to attract a uh, right partner. Yeah. And, or the partner will be there kind of and always away. It's a distant relationships or yeah. even the husband, if will be living in that house, then he will be always kind of away, away, away from the home. Yeah. Create more misunderstanding. What, what do you say to people then? Do you fix this with, um, uh, you know, um, objects or do you say move house? Well, if the, the sectors is missing and really you are looking forward to have a good family, I'm really suggesting to, to prioritize and sell this house. <laughs> yeah. Or if you're able to adjust it, uh, that sector under the same roof mm -hmm. to make adjustments at the right time. Yeah. And believe me, it's happening very, very quickly. Yeah, I know. Um, Majik is asking, is there a diagram? And I know that there are diagrams. I don't know if you have one you can show like this. Or... Yes, yeah, I, can, I can show you. I can share with you. This is the, for example, nine sectors. If you are dividing them, this is from 2019. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? So are they divided into the different uh, directions, like north? north? Yes, you can see it's here, for example. Um, you can see it's, it's a center, it's a north, it's a south, oh, yeah. and the west. Oh. And this year especially, this year especially, <laughs> show, the the star. show the relationship one again, Irena. The oh, relationship is southwest. Okay. And the north and northwest, they are answering uh, and supporting masculine energy. Okay. And for example, if you you could have a southwest sector, you could have a husband, or could you could have relationships. But mm -hmm. if the north sector is missing or northwest sector, they are in the bathroom, but they will be kind of like always traveling away or having. I'm afraid to say like having a prey on the side, or it will create always misunderstanding between husband and wife if the north and northwest sector are. Uh, kind of occupied by the bathroom or or the storage room or they are just completely absent from the house yeah so, so, what, so that's like, what happened with us our north so hang on so if north and so north uh sorry northeast northwest so northwest was missing so he pulled out the energy of the house to the end of the wall like to the very end of the house wall and then we found pictures to put in the kitchen to symbolize the love and the transformation that both me and my husband offer to our clients. So we had the butterfly with the hearts. Mm, because that's beautiful. That, yeah, so we put that there. Although it's kind of just sitting there for the sake of that, it's kind of really opened up that uh, area because he's like, well, I don't want you to build another <laughs> side of yeah. the kitchen, you know? But he said, energetically, you can pull it out. So we energetically pulled it out and like, yeah, made that happen. And it was really great, like amazing. Um, Lavinia is asking, how can she attract another job or a new job? A new job, as, um, it's always, of course, it is a depend individually on the animal sign, on the year you are born. And um, the one thing, of course, if you are not inside my Facebook group where at this moment currently I'm, I'm like really literally just sharing a lot of information for free. And um, of course you can, what you can do, you can, uh, the more people you know, and the more people know about that you're looking for a job, it's much better. It is mean number one thing, you have to pay attention to your Northeast sector. 
northeast. So northeast sector. And uh, be sure that northeast sector is uh, just create some movement there on a good day for you. And also east sector just create some movement, uh, kind of uh, clear up some energy, declutter that area, and also the entrance. Check out that the entrance is not cluttered. And mm -hmm. when you're doing this, think about think about the energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is those things could help the basic things could help with the feng shui but of course it's um see what is going on and it is always always like a lot of a lot of magic you can do with feng shui but it's kind of not one by one hour how it's done no no of course you know there's different it's, it's very individually it's very personally and it should be done at the right time as yes. well the timing yes. is important yeah and about the northwest sector as well is um uh in every house i'm i'm entering every place for example where i'm conducting for example um home analyzing the northwest sector this is where the energy moves first from the center the northwest sector is responsible it's called actually in feng shui golden dragon mm -hmm. this is the most magical sector and if uh, that sector is absent or cluttered or is, um, I don't know, it's maybe a stairs there or it's a bathroom there. Then it's mean from the center, the energy is accumulated inside your home, goes to that sector. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not spreading anymore inside your home. It's mean your home, it's kind of like you're having computer, but you're having very bad connection with the universe. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, you have to always to do external work to support yourself mm -hmm. outside of your home. Home is not yeah. fully okay. supporting. We had another question there about how we can increase cash flow. I could yes. answer this because yes. that's what we had done, but you yeah. answer it. <laughs> yeah, this is a really good question. Uh, actually, it's coming up also dates and they are very individual for each animal sign. It's some of the dates like before even uh, 4th of February when the energy is clashing and you can use that quantum leap. At uh, that moment uh, in the right sector for each animal, you kind of starting, uh, for example, a water pump in the big bowl with the water you start in a water pump at the right time for a couple of weeks but another the easiest way what can you do if you are lazy to uh, find this a water pump or to put aquarium and start exactly on that date maybe it's too complicated another easier way is to find a nail and to find a hammer and to put in the wall an exact time an exact date a hammer there but of course you have to know your animal sign you have to know your the specific date and timing and specific sector this is very very kind of complicated things mm -hmm. but the simple thing is of course is first of all declutter yes declutter and uh, this year still before the 4th of february you can declutter the area of southeast and the east area okay. and uh, see what could happen number one thing declutter your entrance and see when you're coming inside the energy is freely moving able to move free to every room imagine that your energy and you're going to one sector another one another one one another one and be sure that you are using uh, a very good prosperous sectors and of course the center you can place when you feel the energy is good today is really good energy and you can place in the center move things in the center because the moment associated with the water element place a water in the center for example mm. this year and it's amazing amazing you can see what could happen mm -hmm. so what um so what about um Okay, so if somebody wanted to get started with Feng Shui and learn the calendar or like understand the calendar about their, their animal sign and then what day to start certain things, is there a calendar for this? Well, uh, of course, you can look at Amazon.com and to find <laughs> a, a Feng Shui calendar. Yes. This is the one thing to do. 
and um, check or just uh, start opening and see maybe if it's easy for you to understand because some of the calendars is very complicated and if you always can find the one that is like useful for you and you can find in that calendar some dates maybe a good date for your animal sign that's one of the things you can do or of course you can always join a join a course and learn those days because i don't think so that you can google them and they are coming very no easy. no i don't think you can yes you need yes. the special because i remember my feng shui master he had this you know he had a proper calendar but he used to switch clients but he'd not given one to me but uh, i understood yes. that there was like yeah a, this is kind of like it's already advanced feng shui yes. teaching a calendar and days and it's like it is because it's actually feng shui is, is a big huge curriculum to learn yeah it's, uh, it's not only the five elements nine and it's, it's a lot of different yeah. combinations yeah. yes yeah. but it's worth it <laughs> absolutely so see if there's any more questions so we've asked about the cash flow um so cash flow is always networking you check north east sector mm -hmm. and uh be sure that south east sector is present inside your home mm -hmm. and of course uh next year for example next year after the fourth uh after the fourth of february uh this the, year, this year. The cash very very good sector is a northwest where you can place um a, a water for example and activate the money flow it's oh, a north okay. sector. oh just to spend time there spend yeah. time there so, uh, yes yeah, so being present in that and yes because there is, it's all about absorbing those energies uh because well be well having the knowledge and understanding what it is you need to change or just shift i mean i didn't have a lot of things done to this house we just used or have so many crystals and he just said okay let's put this crystal here for this reason i have it all written down now i can't remember it all but you know and we used some crystals to balance some of the energies that was needed, uh, moved, uh, decluttered a few things and the colors. Um, but yeah, no, it's really, just really, really interesting. So I wanna see if anyone had uh, best color. Okay, so best colors, bed facing direction. Oh yeah, so best colors and then bed facing directions for each person. Yes, it's very, very individually. And actually inside my Facebook group, I'm sharing this information for free yeah. because you can just uh, uh, download that template which I uploaded there and uh, by your date uh, of birth, you can find your core number, the mm -hmm. energetical number, and you can find those directions as well and which direction to sleep. Mm -hmm. Can um, you just give yeah. me, what's the name again? I'm in your Facebook group, but can you just give me again the name of the Facebook group? Um, yes um i think yes i'm gonna put it in the zoom link and also in the facebook uh, live yes um, yeah go on so uh, name again a bit live chi business club for home lovers live chi business club business club I'm just doing, I'm just finding it here for people so they have got it. I don't know why it's not coming up there. I'm just going to look at groups now. One second. I'm in your group anyway. I just need to. Um, okay, yeah. so I will drop the. I will drop the link. Like that. So if. Yeah. Someone... What about colors then? Because she asked about colors as well. Well, I can tell you the colors. The colors is kind of the Western world came up with the colors. I'm sorry to say this. Yeah. But the colors they are. Not playing that huge role in feng shui. They are playing just maybe five or ten tiny percent, and of course they are affecting our mood. Yeah. And it's up to you what color you like. Yeah. But it will not affect your fortune. It will not affect your prosperity. And of course, like we have a red carpet because we have a red blood, mm -hmm. and uh, it uh, came up with so many many things. But the main thing is the elements. This is what is affecting vibration. Like you say, by placing crystals, you can yeah. change the vibration. Yeah, yeah. So the color of the uh, the furniture and the clothes 
is more like feeling good. Psychologically, yes, this is how we perceive because we are different, we have different energies. Mm -hmm. And just follow with what makes you feel good, feel you like you're expanding. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And what about, so what about the elements about, uh, uh, you know, expand, expanding in, um, you know, prosperity, uh, you know, doing, well, having a successful life. What about the elements then? The elements, the five elements. Yes. So the thing is, the, the one thing is like, for example, each home has the energy codes like this. Mm -hmm. And um, when we are placing the elements, for example, the code, each code, when I'm talking about the code, each number is connected to the element. Yes. For example, for example, the fire element, mm -hmm. this is a representation of the compass. For example, yes. you can see it here. Mm -hmm. The nine is on the top. Mm -hmm. And it's fire, it's a sun. Mm -hmm. And the one is on the north, mm -hmm. it's uh, water. And if you can put a compass, then you can see it's very easily. Yeah. And then number three is east, and number seven is west. And west is a metal. And imagine like inside, inside uh, for example, inside your home, you have an energy code, which is nine and seven. They are meeting with each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what happened to the to the metal in yeah. that area it's not very friendly for the metal it burns it melts metal yes and imagine if you will be spending time is imagine if your area connected to that uh destructive energy it melts you and you feel it you see yeah. there it yeah. melts you you yeah. feel depressed you feel uh, stuck you don't know why the energy goes away uh, yeah. you kind of feel squeezed in some places you feel like that and yeah what can you do if you place place between earth fire you place mm -hmm. the earth mm -hmm. what it does the earth is suppressing distinguishing the fire yes so when you place the crystals inside your sectors inside your home, mm -hmm. so you balance the energy. So energy start running in productive cycle and supporting your brain waves, supporting yeah. your health, supporting yeah. your every area in your life. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Perfect. I mean, that, I'm just looking for a group, but I mean, that's like, there's so many elements, oh, it's not just elements, but there's so many components to it that if you're just aware of the dates, get fixing everything in your home, using the colors, bringing awareness to your own personal behavior, you can change a lot. You can change enormously. You can completely, uh, like, if I've you... been asking myself, uh, uh, like, the one question is when I've discovered this, uh, my own energy codes and the home energy codes and I could change the flow there and it's like imagine you are growing a plant and then we are human beings we are like a plants we like to grow yeah and uh, imagine that you uh, the plant has uh, enough sunshine and you put some vitamins extra how this will be yeah, the nice. plant compared to the plant I just recently have to remove a plant from one room because it was not enough sunshine. And I thought like, you know how many people they're living in a bad feng shui? Yeah, not yeah. enough sunshine. <laughs> like this, like this, like yeah. this. Yeah. They need more sunshine. And it's yeah. like sunshine, this pink energy is inside us. It should be awakened and how it could be awakened by nurturing our energy, by having a good flow, by having a good feng shui. It's affecting us in every area then we are shining this is showing in in our eyes it's showing on our life and then we are not like a black hole like you know sometimes you meet people and they're like a black hole and you want to run away from them yeah because you just know that they're not in this in a good space but you know i'm totally on you with this because look i work from my house so my, the energy in this house has to be like really good energy and high energy because this is what I deliver. This is my business, right? So I also had, this is quite interesting, I mean, it's a bit off topic, but I had a quantum field uh, frequency 
subscription, where actually the frequency of high frequency of over 500 of unconditional love yeah, is so permanently course. like coming into this home. And that in combination, uh, so I do like earth healing as well. So I clear the, I, I repair the energy, um, the ley lines and yes. clear all the bad karma in the ground uh, especially england has a lot there's so many wars and battles you know uh, so it, it needs to be clear yeah, yeah. The, the country is like broken in the ground uh, a lot in a lot of places um and with that you know healing the ground healing the earth you know you're doing the feng shui having my quantum field thing going on have my own healing tools you know it's just magical the energy i mean even people coming in here they're like wow what have you done to the house basically so i, I i'm living breathing that because you are become the flow you yes. are the flow yes that's it you that's are connected to your essence with who you are exactly. and you just you allowing yourself to say yes to to, to things uh, and you are doing it from and uh, you, you you are not preparing like this call we are not preparing we just doing this from you our do it because it's, we're, it's, yes it's, this is how it goes yes yeah. yeah. we are just yeah and and you know i think as well that just from a you know as an individual people being individually spiritual people or wanting to awake more spiritually uh you know the pure essence of who we are is light is is you know expansive yeah. is yeah. uh you know uh you know even contagious is elevating is healing and that is the natural energy of human beings it's just like we've got to get through the <laughs> yeah we just have to clear out clear out the you yeah. know the junk and actually your new normal state is this state it's yeah. not uh i look at it it's like it's every every human right to have this state because actually that is how it should be you know, as as yeah, a it's not the the thing is when I look at this, um, I want to show you a, a, a body chart, for example. That's everyone is uh, born with their four animals. Yeah. Uh, for example, you can see these four animals here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so everyone is born with the four basic vibrations that we have inside. But the thing is, uh, what we are learning in the Western world that everyone are capable uh, to create a change in life. But here is kind of thing is, to be able to create a change in life, of course you have to have a good environment. And by good environment, of course, the one thing is like a people around you, and then it's like physical objects around you where you placed. And, uh, and they think, is also you have to be able to have a strong willpower if you kind of have a bad habits and you want to create a bad habits you have to have a strong willpower to create it you yeah. have to have a certain amount of discipline to be able to to stop thinking that way to stop that thought you have to have this amount of power but sometimes yes some people are don't have that power they are not born with the real power energy. And it's okay. It doesn't mean that they are very weak or something. They have a different skills and talents. And we just have to recognize this and being able to not bully them. We have to be able to help them as well, kind of like slowly, slowly, that we will be able to help them to open up and to yeah. kind of inject some energy to to motivate them, to inspire them slightly. Because it's very, very difficult for so, many, for so many people to create a change. But you are so lucky because if you have a little willpower, yeah. <laughs> anyone with a little willpower is so lucky. And questions. You need some questions and a little bit of willpower and curiosity. I mean, that's questions, I suppose. And then you can start. Because I had a woman the other day saying to me, oh, your teachings on the, you know, the live streams, this seems so simple to you. And I'm like, it is. <laughs> because I've practiced for so long, it's made my new habit. It's like, to me, everything can become a new habit, right? You can change your diet, you can make the changes to make the new patterns. And it's yeah. the same with, with your life, with your it's, environment, your home, your, you it's, can make, make. I've been thinking about like, 
how it's all about creating a right environment for people that they will be able to open up and yeah. ask questions because sometimes they're perceiving us like they could perceive you or perceive me as we are like too pushy or too fiery too metal yeah. this is what is happening yes. and um, it's like yes we are trying i'm trying to be down to earth to like to and sometimes i'm i'm to open, to invite people to, to trigger in them that they could be also open because they've been hurt in life. They're afraid to ask questions. They're afraid to talk. They're afraid to ask. They're afraid to, uh, to write the comments. And they have to kind of be able to create this environment when, because they are really amazing and talented people. Yes, exactly. And I mean, I, I speak to so many people, but yes, I mean, look, there's people that want to really, really baby steps and that's perfect. Some people want to go a little bit faster. Some people are like, but ready moment, moment is life. Uh, it's like any asking question, writing your comments. It's yeah. a moment is life. This is what yeah. creates, creates the change in life. We never have to feel stuck. We never have to no. do something. Even if you feel stuck, just move move dance put music dance talk to your body yeah yeah talk to your friend <laughs> you know open a conversation reach out yeah exactly so i mean we're going to round it up i'm going to see if there's any more questions um so magica had a few more questions around like the front door and kids bedroom boy and girl sharing room uh, and things maybe she if i invite her to your facebook group yes, definitely they have to go to the facebook group yeah. because it's there it's, it's, it's a lot of enormous amounts of videos on yeah. creating. Yeah. And of course, they choosing a bed, uh, bed head. It's very individually. It's, uh, I cannot say like in general, where you have to sleep. It is individually. Yes, it is. I know. And obviously, if you have different elements and you are in the same sleeping position, I know that me and my husband, he is okay. Apparently, I'm not supposed to sleep this way, but I'm not sure how I'm going to sleep. But, but because you have a very, very strong energy and you're always constantly working on it, you're so you have in the source. That's what, uh, that's what he said to me. He said, Jenny, you be fine. Are you sleeping okay? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, you're fine because of... Because you're always working with it. So yeah. you are, it is uh, at the beginner, at the beginner is really necessarily to sleep in the right direction sure. and uh, to support you as, as possible to have a, this a breakthrough. But once you've connected the flow, mm -hmm. it's that's why I say Feng Shui for those who are, want to get a certain amount of money, mm -hmm. it's like, I cannot say like, it's, it's by income as well, it's different Feng Shui. For mm -hmm. super rich people, it's different Feng Shui than for yes. those who wants to have a breakthrough yes. uh, through different barriers. Those are okay. totally different uh, Feng Shui. Yes, of course. Yeah, I mean, look, I would give people that are beginners uh, different processes, tools than the Absolutely. people who have already, you know, had a lot of self-development and, you know, done a lot, already a lot of healing. So, of course, you have given, but a good starting point would go in your group. So I'm going to now post the uh, link in the Zoom link. Uh, and people, if you're on the Zoom call, um, just copy that link now and i will also post it on facebook uh the underneath so yeah i'll give them a minute to to copy and paste that link so they can go on facebook um the minute. main thing is what i can add to grab the good uh vibes grab the good vibes is uh make a habit to to spend time in the luxury yeah. not just the five star hotel in the most kind of like famous luxury hotel uh, spend time for a tea or a lunch or um, a spend a night there mm -hmm. and see what kind of people are going there and imagine they, and look at every mirror at the beginner they have this mirror with the golden frames mm -hmm. uh, look at those mirrors because mirrors they have tendency to remember memory who yeah. was looking at them the hotels they like to captivate the richness of those people especially famous rock stars are coming there mm -hmm. loaded with the money so come look at that mirror stand mm -hmm. there just do something to your hair and absorb feel it yeah. like absorbing this and uh, even like i'm always suggesting like i've been doing that before i remember 
uh, you have a pen from that hotel or you have a cup of tea, uh, take a, a, a tea uh, or like a sugar you know, uh, five-star hotel, yeah. keep it in your drawer in the kitchen. Yes. It will remind you as it's, it's like yes. a wealth trigger, amazing yes. wealth trigger. Yes. But from that point of view, Irina, it's so important to feel rich yes. because the feeling that is cultivated inside what is what's so going to be stored in your subconscious mind, which is going to be the reality that you are living. Yes. Yes. So we are what we think. think. Yeah. I mean, even, I mean, you can extend it to other things. Like if you have a very nice body cream, you put it on your body. Like and very, it makes you feel so good. Huh? Like it's very nice, you know, it's lovely. You, you nurture yourself. What, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get more things nurturing yourself because yeah. you are acting in this way. Yes, it is. Yes. So and it, that, that's it, why it's like, I'm a hair today, but you know, even do your hair, you know, put your jewelry on. Now I'm talking to the ladies now. I mean, men can put yeah. the jewelry yeah. on, but you know, put the nice colors of the clothes on, put, uh, you know, make sure you smell nice. <laughs> like in, anyway, it's like any, any kind of clothes, don't wear clothes that make you squeeze, that make you feel not rich. Make you feel nice. I always wear the jewelry. I always make sure, I mean, Pretty much. Perfect. I mean, so everyone is different. Someone don't, doesn't like a jewelry, but uh, do something that. How do you feel? You have to always feel like a million dollar baby. Yes, like I that. agree, Irina. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna leave on that note. Make yourself feel like a million dollar baby. <laughs> Yeah, and expect yeah. more more abundant energy to turn up in your life. Yeah, and it's like oh, I'm so good, I'm so rich, I'm so abundant, I'm so prosperous. Yeah, I'm so sexy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love it. All right, then. So I'm going to see if there was any yeah. more thing on Facebook before we leave. Uh, at this moment, I couldn't see um, uh, one more, more question. Uh, George is saying that um, Feng Shui works. Uh, because he's got a fishbowl now on your suggestion. So yeah, great. That's good, good, no good. It is important to work, to work from the right sector, right direction this year for everyone. Spend time in the Northwest sector. North. You're dividing your home into nine sectors like this. Mm -hmm. Take your home plan, divide into nine sectors. Mm -hmm. Find the Northwest. Yes. And uh, create, uh, if you're working from home, and if you have possibility to have an office, home office there, and divide that little room again into nine sectors, yeah. and place your table and the computer in that northwest little uh -huh. sector, and have all Facebook lives from there. Wow. So in my house, it's the, uh, the northwest is by the fireplace and the sofa. So could I sit on my sofa, on my laptop, working? Yes. Not maybe all the time, but like... Not you know. all the time, but at the beginning of the day, if you will spend there at least one hour before, you can move anywhere afterwards. Yes. You will absorb it inside yes. you. What date do I need to do this? After the 4th of February, yeah. on a good date. Which animal sign are you? Tiger. Tiger, okay. So every week inside the Facebook group, I post uh, a weekly post where I put um, for one week the days. And if you see a star for the tiger on that day, ah. and be sure also the day is good, like abundant energy, opened, not a negative. Sometimes we have days, like on Monday was destructive energy. And I know like if someone is- yeah, It was heavy Monday. Not sure what's going on Monday. Yeah. So on Monday, if someone is booking call with me on Monday, so they're coming for me into my life, into my call from destructive energy. I knew that the call will be, it's kind of, you know, <laughs> been tested. I <laughs> when it's on really. an abundant day, yeah. it's totally different people. Yeah. Because it's like house, you know, you attracted it, abundant house. Today... I had calls and they really abundant calls. You see, this is totally different. That's I need to have this now, this thing, and I'm going to block my calendar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On the day when it's no. <laughs> and another thing is, it's really important that what I'm testing and noticing as well. 
like because when you start investing into your ads ask your uh, marketers who are doing your ads that they will start ads on a good day good time yeah. on a day when it's not the black money day yeah. Yeah. But it will suck your money. You'll not get anything in return. Yes. When you're starting on a good day, on an abundant day, on the day when the money, when you invest in multiplying, mm -hmm. it's like you're stepping on the shit. On what you want to step, you get. You yes. step on the black energy that sucks your money, yeah. you're losing money. It doesn't matter how good you are in the cold. Something it's is just wrong. the energy of that day. The energy. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Irina. <laughs> okay, so I'm get, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the Facebook Live. Um, I'm going to finish the webinar. Thank you, everybody. I'll stay on with you for a bit, um, Irina. But thank you, guys, for watching. Um, really, really happy to have you here. And for those who are watching the replay, you can still come and see Irina in her group. No problem. Um, yeah, all good. <laughs> okay, so... I think uh, I, I see this someone is like an anonymous attendee when you talk about directions cardinal directions or based on where the door is not on the base where the door is just okay. the cardinal directions oh yeah that was the question that I didn't say oh yeah okay yeah yeah what do you yeah mean? it's a cardinal directions ignore the door ignore the sector where is the door placed don't be confused just follow cardinal directions and see no problem okay they've got that I'm still recording this. Okay, so I'm going to stop recording. <laughs>